Praveen Gordhan back in cabinet after being sacked by Zuma. Cape Town, less than a year since being unceremoniously sacked as finance minister by former President Jacob Zuma, Praveen Gordhan is back in cabinet. He has been appointed as the new Minister of Public Enterprises to replace Lynn Brown. Gordhan inherits a troubled portfolio, at the heart of state capture. But as a backbencher serving on the Public Enterprises Committee over the last year, he's as well placed to turn around the rot. In the face of all the political changes that are happening, how long do you think your story is going to stick? A premonition maybe? The words of Gordhan just a month ago grilling former disgraced Eskom executive Anajay Singh. Some might have expected a return to the finance portfolio in Cyril Ramaphosa's cabinet, but Gordhan's now facing an equally difficult task that of turning around state-owned companies, caught up in the state capture narrative. Not one to suffer fools, Gordhan will be responsible for cleaning up Eskom, Transnet and Dinal and deciding what to do with the technically bankrupt regional airline SA Express. His arrival signals the departure of Brown, who has been completely left out of Ramaphosa's new cabinet. The former Western Cape Premier is still, however, facing sanction from the President after the public protector found last week that she inadvertently misled Parliament over Eskom's relationship with Trillion. While the Public Enterprises Portfolio Committee will be losing one of its toughest members of Parliament, Gordhan will be giving executives and boards a much harder time from higher office. Ramaphosa has announced his new cabinet at the Union Buildings in Pretoria on Monday night. Deputy President David Mabuza Minister of Finance Anlanla Nene, replacing Maluzi Gigaba Deputy Minister of Finance Mondli Gunkyu, replacing Sfaso Butalizi Minister of Energy Jeff Raitby, replacing David Malobo Minister of State Security Daipyo Letsatsi Duba, replacing Bongani Bongo Minister Public Enterprises Praveen Gordon, replacing Lynn Brown Minister of Home Affairs Maluzi Gigaba, replacing Ayanda Ladlo. Minister of International Relations. Lindaiwi Sisulu, replacing Mate Koenamashabane. Deputy Minister of International Relations. Regina Hall, replacing Noma Indiam Fakito. Minister of Public Works. Thulas Nksisi, replacing Nathi Enlako. Minister of Water and Sanitation. Gujal Nkwinti, replacing Namvila Makanyan. Minister of Transport. Blade Enzimanda, replacing Joe Maswanganyi. Minister of Sports. Toko Zesa, replacing Thulas Nksisi. Minister of Communications. Namvila Makanyan, replacing Mamaloko Kyobei and Gubain. Deputy Minister of Communications. Pinky Kakana, replacing Tandi Mahambalela. Minister of Social Development. Susan Chabangu, replacing Bathabilay Dlamini. Minister of Mineral Resources. Gweed Mantashi, replacing Mosbanza Zwain. Minister of Cooperative Governance. Swilling Kais, replacing Devan Ruyan. Minister of Science and Technology. Mamaloko Kyobei and Gobain, replacing Naldi Pander. Minister of Police. Biki Seal, replacing Fakil Mbalula. Minister of Higher Education. Naldi Pander, replacing Glenjawin Guys. Minister of Human Settlements. Noma Indiam Fakito, replacing Lindaiwi Sisulu. Minister of Small Business Development. Lindaiwi Zulu, unchanged. Deputy Minister of Small Business Development. Castle Mathil, replacing Namathemba November. Minister of Public Service and Administration. Ayanda Ladlo, replacing Faith Muth Ambi. Deputy Minister of Public Service and Administration. 
Chana Palain Majake, replacing Dipyo Letsatsi Duba. Minister Rural Development. Maitenko and Amashabane, replacing Gugul Nkwitai. Minister of Tourism. Derek Hainkam, replacing Tho Kozesa. Minister in the Presidency for Planning, Monitoring, and Evaluation. Kosazan at Lamini Zuma, replacing Jeff Raidby. Minister for Women and Disability in the Presidency. Bathabila Dlamini, replacing Susan Chibangu. Minister of Agriculture. Senzeni Zakwana, unchanged. Deputy Minister of Agriculture. Sfaso Butthalizi, replacing Biki Seal.